Sabrina and my floss tube channel is Lady Marmalade in Stitches. It is Saturday the 28th of October. It's been nearly four weeks since I last um, filmed my floss tube. It's been a while. I've been through a few things which I'll go through in my life update. Um, so yeah, life just really threw a curveball at me it was yeah it was a horrible it was a horrible moment but I'll leave that for later on this at the end of the floss tube and for those who are interested you can listen and if you're not interested that's okay um you know no no bad feelings here so I've I have a lot to show I I'm gonna look at my notes so that just as a reminder of what I need to tell you so I've um, I worked on 12 projects and two of them I finished. One is an FFO, so I'm going to start with the FFO. I have four new starts. Yes, I'm on a new start rant. I still have more new starts to start. So you'll see more in my next floss tube. And um, I work, yeah, worked on 12 whips. So, and then like, after that, I'll go through my purchases I have a few purchases I have a shout out and at the end of this video a separate clip I'm going to show you my vegetable garden and my herb garden and I'm so excited it's my first vegetable garden once again if you're not interested in it you can you can just stop at the end of this video but that's right at the end so let's move on with my finishes now some of you, if you follow me on Instagram or, or Vic Stitch on Facebook, you may have seen this already. The first one is Brenda Gervais Indigo Lane. I have fully finished it and it's in a gold frame. I was going to colour this frame, maybe make it a bit darker, but you know what? I'm not going to. I'm actually really, I really like it. It, it, it actually... Um, all that that kind of yellowy goldy colored thread really stands out so I'm going to leave it I purchased this frame from frames online here in Australia and it it's made to measure because I couldn't find anything to to fit this size it was just a, a, an awkward size and it was either too too much spacing on one side and I don't like that I like the spacing to be even it's just me I'm just really fussy if I'm going to frame it I'm going to frame it properly that's my that's just how I am so really happy with that it took me I had to work on it maybe another two days to complete it there are a couple of mistakes here and and on the birds are just spaced one over too much otherwise it's I didn't make too many mistakes. They were the main ones which I left because I had it, it would have been too hard to pull it out, and it was fine. It was fudgeable. So and and I'm really happy with it. So, Brenda Gervais Indigo Lane, and that's just going to go on the back here on on my on my cabinet. So let's pop it here. So hopefully you can see it while I'm filming. Or maybe this goes this way. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Oh well, that's so much for that. I'm going to just lean it against that. That's fine. And I'll fix it up later. That's come off. That's what holds it up. As you can see, I've added a few more items here. I've got this family bead here and place for my biscuit new that I finished is just here as well. So slowly just filling it up. Coffee time. You can tell I love my coffee. I absolutely do love my coffee so much. So that was my first finish and fully finished. 
Now I have a finish which I haven't completed but now that I have the, the cushion insert I can sew it up. I have the fabric for it and here we go. My happy, my happy place by both the threads is now completed and we picked up our new caravan during the week and I can now sew this up, pop it on the bed and off we go next month and I'm so happy with that. That is just beautiful. My stitches are a bit wonky in places and I don't know, um, those who do full coverage, is there a way to keep your stitches straight? Because when you're changing colours and that, I don't know, some of my stitches just aren't laying straight. So that's a bit of a bummer, but do you know, from a distance it's okay. But let me know how you go. What you do in making, keeping your stitches all aligned on a full coverage or is that really just not possible? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not an expert on full coverage. But from a distance, it looks great. I love it. That was so excited. I had to work probably three times on this to complete it. And my goal was to complete it in time to put it in a caravan. So that goal has been achieved. So I'm really happy with that. I'm just, I'm just placing all my items here. I've got a laundry, I've got a laundry basket here. So I'm just going to place them all there. All right, now on to my new starts. Yes, I've been on a bit of a crazy, crazy new start rant. I, I decided I have all these amazing patterns and kits and it's time to start them. I guess I'll have a few more whips. I'll just work at them bit by bit. But the thing is I get so much joy in start. It's so exciting and just working on them because wow some of them are just amazing really how can you not start them so life's too short i've learned that life's too short so i'm going to start with my first one my first one is by ink circles and it's called another year creeps by i just when i saw this i just loved it now the i've got the floss tuber's name here so I saw this Elaine, who is a stitching farmer. She, she has a floss tube. She has completed this and it looks amazing. I don't know how long it took her, but please head on over to a floss tube. She, she has a lot of beautiful whips, including samplers. She does a bit of a variety. She is a really good stitcher. And I do watch her floss tubes on a regular basis. I will leave I will leave all the information that I'm talking about today will be below in the drop box. But if you have any questions, please just um, email me is probably the best thing. Or just email or just ask me in the comments box and I will respond. So that's the first one. Now this particular project calls for a lot of classic color works which i i bought them all because i wanted it to be exactly like like the like the photos so i'm going to need something to put it on all right let's grab this i did i did make this it's a bit wonky but it's just a board to hold things up so that you can see all the colors these are all the colors that i have that i am using or going to use aren't they just beautiful and they're all and they're all um, classic color works I had a couple of them but I had to buy sorry I've been using that black so that's that's just loose because I was using it for the border so they're the threads I'm, I'm using and that's it there so we want to know what type of fabric this is. I'm just going to pull out. I do have a fabric card in the bag. Okay, the fabric I'm using is called Wispy. And it's it doesn't really say who it's by. It was one. I've got a feeling that I bought this on Stash Unload. That's, that's what I'm thinking. 
and this is the first so what I'm doing is I'm working in the first square so there there are 12 of them so I'm up here and yeah it's this way here this is where I'm up to I've completed the border yes I made a mistake I'm one short in a border but it's okay but I started stitching this this skull here but it's it's out so I stopped there because I was a bit too tired and I thought I've got to go back I've got to see where my mistake is because that's got to be centered and it's not centered and yeah by then my mind was just tired so I thought I'll just leave it I'll go back do all the counting try to work out where I made my mistake but I love the colors I mean it's it's a bit spooky I don't know it just it just appealed to me when, when I saw Elaine stitching it I, I I eyed it off for months and months and when she showed her completed project it was done deal I was going to start it so I bought the pattern I bought the threads I found a fabric in my in my stash it's an 18 count by the way it's an 18 count Ada and I just started it so wow it's, it's spooky but it's just so nice isn't it I love it I love 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 I know I'm, I'm so eclectic in my taste you can really tell when I show you things like this and then I'll show you something else that's completely different but I love it's whatever attracts me to it that is it could be the color combination it could be the actual picture it's always something that draws me in and makes me want to stitch it so that's my first start my second start was the stitch along now I this is my second stitch along I don't do stitch alongs normally but Satsuma Street you can't go wrong and I thought let me try this it's not a big one it's not going to take up a lot of time so we received the first part now I've just bring it up on my phone so that you can see it because I I haven't printed a picture a picture or a photo of it so let's see you know I'm trying to do this without my glasses so let's hope it works here we go So that's it there bring it up close that's part one it's isn't it lovely it's so nice and I've, I've um, been watching all of the participants and their progress so let's pop this behind it so this is on 14 count Wilchilt and I think it's the name of it let me I'll have a look in the bag but it is it is a 14 count it was the one of the um, suggested um, fabrics and I thought I'll just go I don't normally stitch on 14 count my I quite like the 18 count but I thought that's what they want 14 count obviously for the size so I thought I'll go with that so I've completed the border oh do you know what I have that upside down sorry now I placed yeah it's that way there I've got that needle there to indicate the top so I had it the wrong way around that's at the bottom so I completed that I'm going to work on that quite I mean I'm going to try and complete all of it anyway this month before the next the next one comes out so that's the stitch along by Satsuma Street Winter Woods. I mean, if, if you like cells and you like Satsuma Street, it might be one that you would like to, to join. It's not too late to join, it's only just come out. Now, I'm going to look for my fabric. No, I haven't got here, but it is a winter 14 count, and I've got all DMC. So just a whole range of lovely colours of DMC and floss bags. So I just go through my stash. Um, I do have some CXC here because I do have a whole big stash of CXC. Um, 
they work perfectly fine. It's just a little bit fluffier, I would say, than normal DMC. But the coverage is really good. So if you're after a cheap, a cheaper alternative, a more affordable alternative to DMC, head over to AliExpress. That's where I bought mine. You can buy them in certain colours. You can buy the whole set like I did of all the colours. So, um, yeah, I think it's fine. I tried it and I'm really happy with it. So that is another start. My next start is another Biscornu. Now, this is by Atelier Pins and Needles. I bought this on um, Etsy. So you find them on Etsy. Just bring that up so you can read that and that's really pretty really like that not sure about the fabric I chose but I'll explain what I did and why I chose it so I'm using DMC all the cord full DMC now this is a 16 count now have I got it the right way let's see I have it is Okay, that's, I know it doesn't really matter, but that is up because I've done across there and I'm working down and all around. So that's on 16 count Ada. It's one that I bought uh, ages ago and I don't know, it's just a, a greeny colour. And I, I mean, it's coming up quite well, maybe not as green as what it is. Um, the only thing is that it's very transparent or see through as you can see. So I think what I'm going to have to do is when I when I when I'm ready to sew it up is to do is to do some backing, put some backing on it so you can't see through it. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do. But it it, it sews really well actually. I'm happy with that with how it's how it sews up. Um, the cross has come up really nicely. So this is another one. I'm hoping to finish this in a couple of weeks and sew it up and pop it just in my in my tear tray. Yep, so that's Biscorn you. And that's what and that's where I'm up to. So that is my start. It's really it's really lovely. I'm enjoying this one very much. And it, it, it just see I have strings all over the place. You can tell that I've been working on it. And this is a bag by um, DG's handmade. Devana Lee Designs, I bought this a while ago. So that's from her, it's quite a nice bag. Okay, now the next one, Mother Moon. Now Mother Moon is by Joan Elliott. Now, you would have noticed that in my um, whip parade, I did show this and I probably had about five stitches and the reason I stopped, first of all, is that I wasn't too sure of, of the fabric. Well, I did change the fabric. I, I thought this would be a better idea. I have started it now. I'm starting it in the middle. So I am stitching. This is about the center here. And it kind of dupl it's duplicated on both sides. So I can do both sides at the same time. So I started this in October. All the threads are the cord four threads, and I'll show you some of that. There's some crying neck and stuff like that. It's on 16 count Ada Lavender by Paddock Lane Designs. Now I've got I've bought some um, fabric from Paddock Lane Designs. She is absolutely amazing, this amazing um, fabric dyer here in Australia. I'm going to talk about her a little bit more when I show you my acquisitions. And so this is what I'm doing now. I'm just going to take it out of the bag. This is a nice bag. I bought this on. I buy all my bags on Etsy, but unfortunately, because I bought this a while ago, there's no tag, so I can't show you. But I love that. That's so nice. I love that colour. Now it's going to be a bit hard to see because these are the lighter, the lighter bits. Of, um, so as you can see this is like her cheek that's her eye there so the colors are very very pale but they they come up dark so what we're looking at is 
actually I did say I was down here I'm actually here and that's her eye there so I thought this was a better choice this is a 16 count so, so the beads will sit a lot better now there are there's a good variety of um, threads here and I'm trying to see these are all DMC yep so these are all the DMC you can see there's a range of blues purples light blues and so forth and as well as that all right there are those chronics and beads so that'll be included so i think that's going to turn out really nicely so i'll keep working on that keep you know keep going um, I find that if I have a colour out and I'm doing one side, then I, I'm, I usually tend to do the other side. Not always, but most times. So, that, they are my new starts. I have more new starts. Uh, I would have started another one, which is the Mirabilia, but hopefully I'll have time to start that this month. I have three Mirabilias that I would like to start, but... I do have fairy flora that I actually want to concentrate but I'll, on, but I will talk about that a bit more. So my whips. The first whip that I worked on was Quare, Ebatti Quare, Patini d'Argento or Silver Skates in English. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. So I've I started working on him. I've gone up, just so you know where I am, across. Um, and I'm almost about to start. I haven't done the birds yet. I, I can't remember. I'll have to have a look. I'm about to start the top of the tree. Sorry about the zippers. I didn't think about unzipping the zippers. So let me take this off. So maybe you can see it a little bit more. So that's where I am. I've done I've done all the words up the top here. I, I did a bit more on on the male. So I'm about to work down the tree. The tree is going to be just there. So that's where I did do the birds. There you go. Aren't they cute? And because it has this kind of, you see how that string goes along there. I'm going to do couching for that so that I get the right effect. Um, because if I just do backstitch, it's not going to be a nice, smooth, round, you know, undulating type of shape. So I'm going to couch that. So I'm going to leave that till last. Yeah, so now I'm going to work down here, do all the tree, do the little fella there. And maybe just start working the snow over, do her, keep going, do him, keep going, do that. So that's kind of the plan with that. I probably worked twice on, on this project and I, I thought I got quite a lot done. I was really, really happy with my progress. So I won't zip that up. I noticed I'd been zipping up. Naughty me, naughty me. All right, next one is Carolyn Manning Designs Shooting Star. And this particular one is Sunset. So I'm doing the large one there. I've, I'm now working in the centre here. That's where I am at the moment. All that's done, all that's done. This is really good when you're, when you're not up to really doing much. Um, you know, when you can't think. This is, this is an easy stitch to do. So this is stitched on 18 count Ada called Blood Orange by The Stitching Spot here in Australia. I started this in September of 2022. So I'm not going to take it out of the hoop because I've just got it lined up. So you can see the start of that centre bit and that's where I'm going so I'm going to keep going down complete it see the center people code there complete it and come down to the end the ends about here I love Carolyn Manning I've been so tempted to start another one well you never know I might 
you know, I'm starting, I'm, I'm on a starting rant, so I just might do it. So Carolyn Manning, very nice. You've yeah, worked probably twice, twice or three times. Sometimes that's a good stitch and I do that at night time. You know, I hop in bed, I've got my light which hangs around my neck so I've, I can light up the fabric and I just stitch. That's usually a good one to do at night because it's an easy stitch to do. And it's in this bag that I made myself. I just make these bags, they're nice and easy and it just has that, I don't know what you would call that. It's not quite nice to uh, a tan. Rusty, rusty. Let's go for rusty. I think that's a good way of doing it. All right, the next one is now my focus piece. I am going to focus on this for a completion. There we go, the Lord's Prayer. So the Lord's Prayer is by my big toe. Um, I'm using 18 count Ada called All the Things by Mystic Fabrics. Started this in June of 2022. And I'm using all the needle points, silk plus an extra one, just for a bit of colour. I'm just going to, I've just got to remove the pattern, which was just stuck to this. Let's use the board so that you can't see through. Not very organised, am I? Sorry. All right. I might actually pull these, pull this down. No, I can't. All right, so that's where I'm up to now. As you can see, I've worked myself. This is this is actually more than halfway. I've got a page here and a page here. So I'm working up now to complete that page. And just to put it in perspective. I'm here and I'm working up. I'm going to complete that page there. And it'll take me right up to the top. It's beautiful. I'm going to work on this. I really would like to get one page finished. We'll see how I go. And um, because I've got to remember, you've got to work on the border. So I've got to keep bringing the border up as well. Really enjoying this. Can't wait to finish it. My focus piece now. Until it's completed, I'm going to keep stitching on it. I'll show you what I'm using for threads. I'm using needle point silks. Um, the same, the same colour as what is called for, but you don't have to. You, of course, you can choose any colour that you like. So I'm using, I'm using Endive by Gentle Arts. So that's what I'm using, just as an accent, just to give it a bit of colour. You know, just a bit of a pop of colour, and. I'm using the Nita Point Silk, a bit hard to read without my glasses. So that's like a blue and that's like a burgundy. As you can see, that's using those. Really nice to work with. They, it doesn't knot up and I'm really happy with that. So I don't need to use, I don't need to use wax for that to, to ensure that it's not knotted up. So that's a lovely project, so I'm hoping to do a lot more, hoping to have a lot more progress on that one there. So my next one, okay, is Mermaid's Folly. There we go, let's bring it up here. Mermaid's Folly, I'm stitching this one here. And let me say, it's so big. I didn't realise there were so many pages. I thought it was smaller, which is why I chose a smaller one. But no, it's three pages down. And it's like, I don't know, five pages across. It's really big, but I am enjoying it. So that's the one I'm doing right there. Now, this is by the Courtney Collection. Fabric is an 18 count old gold by The Stitching Spot. I started this in July of 2023. I've completed a page. So I'm now up to, I'm working my way down. So I've completed a page and I'm now working. So there are, there are two more pages here to complete the full length. And that's coming along really well. It's also another easy stitch because you're just using one colour 
makes a big difference when you're using one color and you're not having to stop all the time now I'll show you what I'm using for those who are new here oh, by the way I didn't even say thank you for coming back you know I'm grateful I am truly grateful for everyone who watches me for everyone who subscribes I am grateful it, it just really I just love it so I am using coal by Wig Style Works there's a slight variegation in this one. It's not complete black, as you can see. Really nice. And I'm using the wax. This knots, and it knots really, really easily. So I'm having to use the wax. Every time I pull a new strand, I will wax it. And it's helped reduce the knots. I'm still getting some knots, but nothing like in the beginning. In the beginning, it just kept knotting up. So coming up really well. Very, very nice, really happy with that. My next whip is called Christmas Carols by Marechka. That is, this is one of my favorites. I love this one. I love the colors, it's so colorful. I've been working on her and I've completed her, like her jumper and I'm starting to work down to here. I wanna work my way down, so. You'll see, what you'll see is you'll see her. This is lovely. Now I'm using the kit threads as well as the kit fabric. It's a 16 count. Don't be shocked. I'm managing this. <laughs> it looks like a mess. It's a bit of a mess. Yeah, it is a bit of a mess. But that's, they are the threads. And that's where I'm up to now. So I've been, I've finished her jacket and I've done all that, finished her gloves. So I'm just going to work right down, down to her feet. And then I'm going to move over to, I'm going to move over to him. I'm going to stitch his face. So that's what I'm going to do next. I probably stitched two to three times on here. I can't quite remember, which reminds me. I haven't been making notes, I'm really bad, but I have purchased or I've put an order in for the book of days for next year because I really want a month, a month, you know, to two pages where you can open it up. That is where I'm going to really start recording properly what I, what I work on. I promise I will. Isn't that lovely? The colour is so pretty and it's amazing once you do the back stitching it just comes to life. Yeah, so I did finish, I completed all the back stitching even around her, around her scarf. I've got some more back stitching to do, just one to do here and um, otherwise all the back stitching is up to date. That is so pretty. Love that one. And that just, that's housed in a bag that I made. And I just use that fabric in there. My last whip is the oven. That's, this is just absolutely magnificent. The fabric is beautiful. Absolutely love this. I started this about a month ago, a month and a half. I don't know if I've written it down. I need to have a look. If not, I need to prepare a card for it. Love the colours in this one here. And it's in this bag that I've made. So it's a bit of a confetti um, pattern because as you can understand, these flowers are all different colours and so there is a lot of confetti just in there. So I just go slowly, slowly. So I've been trying to build this up as you can see. I've got more more on a flower. I still haven't backstitched because I haven't decided if I'm going to couch it because when I did the backstitch against normal backstitching, I wasn't happy with it. So I may couch the backstitching on here, which is... As you can see, you see, 
that white I tried doing it like that white one is fine but it just didn't sit nicely when I was back stitching it so I may couch it I'm going to give that a try but isn't that beautiful like now that I'm looking at it in um, in the camera wow that I can really see the detail in it when you're stitching on it and it's so close you don't you don't really see the beauty of it until you hold it up but isn't that isn't that beautiful love that and the fabric is just I love stitching on this fabric this I don't know what they use whatever it is whatever they use I want I, I want a barrel of it so that's my oven my oven stitch so that's all my whips I'm just going to move that over and now it's time for what I might do is I might do my shout out so what I thought I would like to do is every time I film a floss tube I can just fill it here here I would like to do a shout out and it's all it what it is it's supporting the cross stitch community the floss tube community and I think it's important um, it doesn't mean one is my favorite to the other I really like them all and they all have something very special to offer they really do you know whether it's their personality the things they stitch on you know there's always something they're all equally as wonderful as each other so I want to make that clear um, but my first shout out and I've been watching I've been watching Juanita for quite a while now Juanita is um, has a channel called stitchy things and she's she's been on floss too for a couple of years and she's from the Netherlands and she has a really good range of um, projects that she works on and I do like you know I mean I do like the range that she chooses it's really good like me I'm eclectic I like a bit of everything and I find that Juanita is like that as well so she's she has three boys they're 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 growing up but let me tell you she looks amazing you cannot she looks so youthful I don't know how she does it don't know how you do it Juanita you need to give me the secret to it she, so shout out for Juanita I'm going to leave a link to to her channel down below like I said everything's going to be listed below so that if you want to watch her watch her let her know you've come from here give her some support as you know let's support each other it's important okay so next I would like to do my acquisitions now I have purchased quite a few fabrics so the first one I have purchased I've purchased a couple of fabrics now these were a special request so I actually I actually asked Lisa from Paddock Lane Designs to dye these fabrics I gave her a photo and wow did she do a great job these are her details she has a floss tube so I would like to do a shout a shout out so her floss tube is shady trees stitches as on the cards I will leave a link below as well she's almost up to a thousand let's try and get her channel up to a thousand that is the plan she's she's lovely she's so lovely to to talk to so these are from paddock lane designs i've asked her to dye this for me now i'm trying to think was this a 16 or 18 count i can't remember um lisa you can probably remind me so this is one of them I mean look at that isn't it amazing I'm thinking if I'm thinking 16 count because I was kind of thinking mirabilia a mirabilia with this one wow how clever it is an Ada I only stitch on Ada unless it's 28 count I can see 28 count but I can't see any more than that so that was one request and this is another this is for a um oh dear what's the name I can't think there was a particular pattern I'll pull it out next time I should have pulled it out this time 
Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? 16 count as well. They're both the same count. Didn't you do a wonderful job? So I wanted that, um, the two-tone, the two-tone fabric. Absolutely love it. Well done, Lisa. Thank you for that. I also purchased this. I purchased this from the Stash Unload and it's dying for cross stitch, 18 count, and it's called, I think it's Cradolina. I don't have my glasses on, but it's just a green. Just wanted to add a green to my stash as well, but it's a nice green. It's a really, really nice green. And I went to um, Sonia's Needle and Thread is where I bought this, the next one. So I purchased a Mirabilia to add to my stash of Mirabilia because I didn't have her. Now, let me see if I can see her name. She's Sun Goddess. I can't see because it's tucked under there. Can I bring it down? Oh, almost. MD155. There we go. That's it there. So if you want to know which one it is, that is really pretty. So, so pretty. So I purchased that from Sonia's Needle and Threads. And I'll leave and I'll leave a link, a link or the description below. And I just bought some 18 count Ada. The whole big bunch of it. I thought it, I thought I'd find something because if I want something neutral, this will be really good to use. So I've got bought that. I purchased this is Winter's Wisdom by Cottage Garden Sampling. I just can't read it. So I bought that pattern. I do have a couple of more of these, but I really like that one. Yeah, Wisdom. Wisdom is what we gain as we get older. So I purchased that. Um, this. I purchased from 123 Stitch. I saw another stitcher stitching this, but unfortunately I can't remember. I didn't make note of the channel. Isn't that beautiful? So this is Christmas Eve Sampler but by Joan Elliott. I love that. I want to start that, but I know I have another black one, which is um, the other one that I'm doing. So I don't know if I should start this one as well. I should really finish the other one first. I kind of just want to have one of a type, a type of, how do you say, one of a, a type of cross stitch. So whether it's floral or the designer, um, that's kind of how I, how I see it, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't make sense. <laughs> so purchase that from 123 Stitch. I bought a few kits. This one is um, Dimensions Gold Collection in her garden. You would have seen this one. I bought this one on Etsy, not Etsy, on eBay. This person was selling it on eBay. And it's, it's like brand new. It's in perfect condition. I can't, I really like that. I like, I like that. You know, the old... 18th century dressing, beautiful, I love it. Now, I purchased a couple of um, Australian heritage um, houses. So this one is a DMC and it's Olga Gostin's Australian Heritage Architecture. And you do see these houses. More closer to the CBD, which are the older suburbs of Melbourne, you will find houses like this. And maybe other cities, but I'm only familiar with Melbourne. This comes with 16 count Ada, pre-sorted cotton, a needle and, and char. So that's the Ada. There's your pre-sorted threads. And as you can see, there are other types of Australian heritage architecture that you can also purchase. So decided I would like, I'm not actually stitching a house as such. So 
thinking of starting one of this or the next one that I'm going to show you. Maybe you can choose for me. Let me know which one you think. This is another DMC and it's it's by John Bradley. So it's John Bradley's Australian Scenes and it's also another home. This looks probably, I mean, it's a gum tree, so it's not going to be Queensland. Gum trees are usually in the warmer parts. Queensland is more um, humid, so it's a different type, different type of scenery. So that one there. Now this comes with 16 Carnada. It's also got the pre-sorted threads. That's it there. Nice colours. So maybe you can choose for me. We're going to call that Olga. Olga Gostens. Should I start that one? Or should I start John Bradley's? I'm going to get you to choose for me. And whichever one I get more votes on, I will start. A or B? Please let me know what you think. It'd be it'd be interesting to see to see what my viewers think. I bought another oven kit. Um, this is from my bobbin. I love the scenery in this. It's beautiful. It's you know in a winter it doesn't snow here. You know I've never been in the snow and I don't know what it's like. But when I look at it, it's almost romantic. It's just beautiful. It's calming. And, and that's what I saw in this one here. This comes, so it's called the Enchantress Winter. And it comes with, I think it's 14 count and all pre-sorted. You can't see, you can only see the fabric. It's just a white fabric, but it does come with all the threads. So that's from my bobbin. So that'll go in my stash of kits. And I also purchased this from Luca S. This is from 123 Stitch. And it's called, it's an embroidery kit. It's called Compositions with Poppies. And it's kitted with Swigart Ada, 16 count, 42 colours. Skill level is three out of five. Um, it comes with the hoop as well. I wouldn't mind starting this. I love poppies. Just like this. Like my biscornu. You can tell I love poppies. I love the red. So this could be a potential start. Really well sorted. I like the fact that I've got the hoop that'll actually fit and I can just put it in there. So I think that is all I needed to say. I've done that. I, I've yet yeah, I put an order for the book of days, which I'll start filling in. I'll put in all the whips that I have starting at the beginning of the year, which I think is a really good idea. And as I complete them, I can actually write them in. And that's one one thing that I really need to do is keep better um, notes of what I do so that at any given time I can just look back and see when I finished something, when I started something. So I think it's important and I think the book of days will work really well. Okay, so I'm going to talk about life. It ha like I said, it has been four weeks, nearly four weeks since my last floss tube. And... The reason is, first of all, I, I offered to stay at my daughter's house to house sit and look after her two dogs. And she has two greyhounds, beautiful greyhounds, Nikki and Jakey. My daughter flew to Japan for a holiday. She hadn't had a holiday for a long time. I said, just go, leave it to me. I'll look after the house. I'll look after your plants. I'll look after your dogs. Unfortunately, and I know I'm going to get teary, so I'm not going to talk for too long because it still affects me. After three days of being there, poor Jakey passed away and he got ill all of a sudden. He was a 
absolutely beautiful dog. Now, people who have pets will understand that they are like family. I knew I, knew I would get teary and I'm really sorry. They, um, they are like family and he was an incredible, beautiful, placid dog and he would just follow you wherever you went and he would just look at you and stare and he just had so much love. So unfortunately that happened and um, but it was on my watch. So I think that's probably, in a way it's good because my daughter didn't have to see what happened. I'm not going to go into detail because that's not necessary. She, I knew she would be distraught because she has such a bond with Jakey and I knew she would just be, yeah, absolutely distraught. She decided just to fly home. She didn't want to be in Japan anymore. So she, she took the, 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 basically next day she flew back home and um, came home and she, she was very upset. And, and I think with all of this sadness and stress, I'm talking about myself now that I experienced. Now I was strong for my daughter. I cleaned the house. I, I even did some shopping. I cooked for her so that she wouldn't have to cook when she got home because I knew she just would be totally just, you know, just completely unable to. So I did all that. I think I was running on adrenaline. I really do because I don't know how I did it. Um, so she came home, I comforted her, I stayed an extra night just to be with her and I came back here. But I knew that the impact of all of the stress and, and all of the sadness would have on my body. So when I got home, I suffered severe body pain. It does affect me like that. If I'm stressed, my body will kind of react that's one of the triggers and I get in immense body pain. So I've really been out for at least five days, continuous days of extreme body pain, but it's, it's settled down now. I'm feeling much better. Um, I still miss Jakey. I looked after him a lot for my daughter when she needed to go away, you know, whatever it was, either she would bring him here or I would go there to her house. So. Rest in peace, Jakey. We still love you and we'll always think of you. So that was really what's taken me so long to, I suppose, physically and emotionally just to get over it. But I'm better now. I feel good. I've had a bit of a tear. I knew I would. I just knew I would. So that's it for my floss tube. I'm thinking that I may keep just a three to four weeks before I film again because it just gives me more time to stitch. So I'm thinking three to four weeks you'll see me again. If you like this floss tube, please subscribe and please like. And thank you for watching my floss tube. I really do appreciate you. I'm going to add a clip, as I said. If you're not interested in gardening, you can just switch off from here. I won't be offended. I'm just happy that you watch my floss tube. So you'll see my, my um, vegetable patch and as well you'll see my my herb garden which is going really well so i'll say goodbye thank you for watching take care bye and we're back at my herb garden and as you can see my herbs are going quite well i have the parsley italian parsley at the top i have my thyme there in the center and my new oregano plant that i will just dry I usually dry the leaves and pop them in a jar and of course you know rosemary it just grows incredibly well now I'm going to stop here and walk right back to the end of my garden where my um, new garden bed is with all the veggies and beautiful plants which are growing so I'll see you back soon okay right now I'm right at the back end of the of my yard and here this is my partner who has constructed the beds for the vegetables and we have a chili plant here as you can see really happy we've popped that into a pot and we have cucumber we have carrots the carrots are going really well very excited about that celery 
we have capsicum the capsicum plants are good we have one little tomato plant which actually broke in transit as we brought it home unfortunately but it's still alive so i think it will take this is a the other tomato plant that we purchased it's doing really well we've placed that into a pot and on this side i have all of my lettuces because i love i love eating salads garden salads and we have spinach just on the side here um so really happy with my um, vegetable garden they're doing really well my partner's put in a great deal of effort as you can see right at the end we still need to stone this ground here so he's going to put just some like crushed stone so that so it doesn't get muddy because it does tend to get muddy so thank you for watching and um have a great day bye